Hello everyone, my name is Tapasya and let's begin with the interesting topic today. The topic is on New Bold Report. During World War I, the entire world was in state that was in discomfort. And uh, Sir Henry New Bold have served during World War I. Sir Henry wrote a report on teaching of English in England and Wales. He presented this report on the Board of Education in 1921. Later, he became the chairman of the Board of Education. The report that Henry, Sir Henry had written was titled as Teaching of English in England. In this report, he argued that English was neglected in schools. He insisted that English should be built in such a way that it should become a dominant language in the world and it should cover the whole range of school from elementary to universities. He uh, kept on arguing throughout the report that English language should have a critical role in education and emphasis uh, should shown on teaching uh, to a well constructed argument of teaching. Uh, this report established the forms of studying and professionalized the form of teaching the English language and literature. Uh, before this, no school gave attention, paid attention on uh, the English language. But later, after this report was being presented, every school has established this language as a standardized language. He also kept forth the words of raising the salary for lecturers. If you want a good teaching, good salary should be provided. He believed in that concept. So for many years, the report was known as the standard report for teachers in training colleges. And uh, this report was read, uh, understand and you know, it was being absorbed in the education system by teachers. Uh, this was all about the new bold report. There were few questions being asked for several years about new bold report. The first question that is the first major report of teaching the language in England was published in 1921. It is known as Dash and it is named after the chair board of the report Dash. So it is named as new bold report. And it is named after Sir Henry Newbold. The next question that is, which of the following is not true of the Newbold report teaching of English in England? Now There are four options out of which one is incorrect. It was commissioned in 1921. This is absolutely correct. It urged the teaching of national literature. This is also correct. It proposed the teaching of English literature at university level and that's also true. The fourth is it aimed at uniting classes after the war and that is false. He did not aim at uniting classes. Instead, he wrote a report after the war so that the English language should be a versatile language. So that's all for today's lecture. I believe that you might have known about a new report that is New Bold Report. Thank you so much.